done. It is technically still morning for five more minutes. Um, <laughs> it's Sunday morning, March 25th. I only didn't know that because I've already been up doing my daily writing and checking the calendar. <laughs> um, got the laundry going and you know all the normal chores and I've started sorting and cleaning some stuff in my office I want to I don't keep a lot of sewing patterns anymore because generally most of the time I don't do a lot of sewing anymore although lately that's definitely not been true obviously if you've been watching my social media posts and if you haven't go to the description below there is a link to a website called linktree uh, if you click on it there'll be a list of every single place on the internet you can find me and um, Instagram Twitter like all that stuff anyway I've been doing a lot of sewing lately and I do have a few sewing patterns that are favorites that I want to keep but I need to organize them better um, traditionally they've just been stuffed in a pile or in a drawer and one of the reasons I don't do any sewing hardly any more at all except for lately is because I can't find stuff and so that really annoys the crap out of me. So my husband's out getting his car washed and waxed. He drives a little sports car. And I am going to go head over to Staples and go find a large binder or something along those sorts that I can put the patterns in I want to keep and just kind of flip through them. I also want to get some pockets for the binder that I can put the pattern pieces in. You know, sort of keep the directions and flip through the directions, but then also have the pattern pieces in a pocket. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. And, uh, you know, we're, it's going to be kind of a quiet Sunday. I don't think we have a ton to do. We're... Um, we have a bunch of vegetables left over from Friday from the corned beef and cabbage family dinner, but of course no meat because you know everybody eats the meat first and nobody eats the vegetables, um, except for me. And there's a big bowl of vegetables. Um, I think instead of cooking more corned beef to go with them, we have some other meat in the freezer. So I'm going to cook that and make sort of the, um, you know, a German style sort of boiled vegetables which are pretty bland. They're just boiled vegetables and salt, which is basically what I have in the fridge already. And then we'll just cook up the meat to go with them for dinner. Got on the treadmill already today. So I got my steps in. That's six days this week um, from Monday to today that I've gotten steps in on the treadmill. So yay for me. So we're gonna try to keep that going. Christmas happened and I got derailed a bit and was down to two to three days a week which just doesn't work for me and my body I need to be on there more to be healthier so we're gonna work on that normally I wouldn't do this but yeah so this is the state of my office as you can see there is literally not an inch of space on any desktop okay maybe like two inches right there this has been the way my office has been for more than a week. And while I still have some, uh, at least one more sewing project to do, and, one, and well, I should, shouldn't say that, I have two more to do and one to cut out, um, I am going to clean up what I can. I'm going to organize my sewing patterns. This is a pile of sewing patterns I found in the closet when I was in there doing something else. Um, and this is a pile of sewing patterns I'm going to organize. So I'm going to work on trying to clean what I can of my office today. I think that's going to be the chore today. Because this is really bad, you guys. <laughs> and I have videos to film for April commitments. Like, I'm running out of time. Um, art journaling videos. So, yeah. I have no room to art journal. So, anyway. That's what I'm going to work on today. Good morning. It is Monday morning, March 26th, I think. I guess we should check. Hang on. Yeah, the 26th. Calendar's behind my computer. Um, anyway, I am um, expecting some company in a few minutes, um, and I've got some filming for April Commitments for here on YouTube to do today, but I wanted to share with you all the next bag that I make, which was this made 
make that I made, which is this one. This is this is called the Sew Together Bag. And I'm going to flip the camera around so I can share it with you. Spent a whole five minutes talking to the camera and it wasn't on. <laughs> this is called the Sew Together Bag. The pattern is by Sew Demented. There are a bunch of videos here on YouTube for tutorials how to put it together. I have one in particular um, by a particular YouTuber that I really like. She did it in, in parts and steps. So I will link the videos and the pattern in the description below. Um, it has two handles on it formed by the zipper. Now this isn't the best bag I've ever made. It's not horrible. I like it. Um, I should have probably sewn the binding by hand instead of trying to do it on the machine. And she actually says that in her video and a couple other people do too. And I can see why it's, you know, it's okay, but it's a little bit messy for me. Um, you open the bag by pulling the zipper open this way. And I was, you know, I'm trying to use up my, my hoard. So I was using the zippers that I had and I wanted to put an extra long one in here so it opens all the way uh, with a deck in the front, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but you could probably put um, a purse zipper in here with two pulls so that you can pull it open that way. I didn't have one of those that was long enough. So um, when you open it on the inside, it's got these three zipper pockets in here that are really great that you can put you know all kinds of things in now this was developed as a sewing um, kit for people who go on sewing retreats and to sewing bees and things like that and if you put a long enough zipper in here it makes this sort of deck right here that you can put a pin cushion or something else we'll pretend my essential oil diffuser thing is a pin cushion um, you can in between the pockets there's um, a nice um, sort of deck in between you can put different tools in and it works great for a sewing bag. It would be really great for an embroidery bag, too, if you like to take embroidery with you, especially small projects. But I immediately, of course, saw an art journaling bag and a pencil bag out of it. I think it would make a fabulous one. I added these little loops right here, too, that if you wanted to, like, attach scissors or something to. They're really supposed to be decorative, but I did leave it as a loop. Um, anyway, I... I'm going to make another one. They have a hack for making a bigger one, and I think I'm going to try that next. I'm having a lot of fun um, rediscovering my love of sewing. A lot of you have asked if I'm going to sell these bags. I have no intention of doing that at the moment. I have done that before where I have sewn for a living, and I didn't enjoy it, to be perfectly frank. Um, some of these bags that I make that uh, you know, I just make to see if I like the pattern, but I'm, you know, not crazy about it, or I find that the process was fun, but the bag's not useful for me. I may sell, um, and um, I may not. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, so we'll find. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. So anyway, but if you um, know how to sew, I'll put the patterns and the videos in the description. If you don't know how to sew and you'd like to learn, go to your local fabric shop because a lot of them have sewing classes. And you probably know somebody who has a sewing machine sitting in a closet that they're not using that you could borrow. So that would be my two tips for you. And if you're going to take a sewing class, especially if you can, you know, talk to the teacher and say, I want to make this pattern. Can you show me how to do that? That's the kind of class you want. All right. That's it for the moment. I have a bunch of filming to do and I have company coming over in a few minutes. So I'm going to go take care of all that and I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is Tuesday, March. Oh crud. Twenty seventh. <laughs> um, I just wrote it down like you would think I would know. I don't know. All right, I'm still in my gym clothes. I haven't showered yet. It's 2.10 p.m. You heard me correctly, p.m. I have been on the treadmill already. I was chatting with my art friends, the Zoomers, while I was doing some video editing work and making something for Cindy Utter that she asked me to do which Cindy, it's in the mail today. You probably will get it before you even see this vlog if you watch the vlog. <sighs> anyway, it's so late in the day, I just figured I would go get groceries and um, there's a lot of workmen on my street. Go get groceries and the mail before I even take a shower. Just like there was just no point in 
I just, who cares? I'm in my gym clothes. I don't have a bra on. I'm probably smelly. I don't care. Don't tell anybody. Hi, guys. It is... What day is it? Wednesday morning, March 28th. And I am, as you can see, puppy sitting Lily. She's doing her favorite thing. Messing up the couch while she stares out the front window. <laughs> so I am... I'm not gonna get a lot done because I'm puppy sitting, but that's okay. So I'm gonna chat with my friends, the Zoomers, maybe do some laundry. I have some daily drawing and sketching. I think that that's probably what I'll do today. So I'll share when I can and uh, that's it for the moment. I'll hey guys. So Lily is still here with me. We are in the car. It is really hot outside. Hotter than I thought it would be. My house is freezing anyway. We are getting ready to go over and get the mail, and I should probably walk her, but I think I'm going to drive instead. She's having fun, I think, because she's loose in the back seat, and I don't think her parents ever take her in the car that way. All right, so... It is 5.31 p.m. It's still Wednesday. I, uh, yeah, Wednesday. Holy cow. I got nothing done today because I was babysitting Lily or pup. I'm sorry, puppy sitting Lily. And it's, you know, like having a toddler in the house. You can't leave her alone for a second. So, yeah, there's that. I did throw one load of laundry in and I have YouTube videos loading, 16 of them for you all. And uh, so we're scheduled, scheduled out through almost all of April. And um, yeah, so that's not nothing I should say, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Maybe I can get more done tomorrow. Maybe. Hey guys, it is Thursday, March 29th. I just knew this two seconds ago. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday, March 29th, and it is just before three o'clock in the afternoon. I spent the morning uh, getting my workout in and cutting out another bag to sew, making myself a new pin cushion. Would you like to see my new pin cushion? Um, if you follow me on social media, you've already seen it. This is my hallway. Um, because I sh I'm gonna share tonight on social media, but I had this jar of pins I kept poking myself trying to get pins out. So I made myself this cute pin cushion. And uh, isn't it cute? If you'd like, it's an easy project. And I don't know, I didn't film it. But if you guys would like a tutorial on how to do this, let me know. Um, again, it's not a hard project. But I definitely I can show you. It doesn't require a sewing machine, FYI. Um, let me know. Anyway, I have had a jar full of pins. I pulled out the ones that I prefer to sew with. And yes, there is a difference in pins. Anyway, I'm going to put the rest out in the back of my car. I've got a pile of donation stuff for Goodwill, so it's going to go there because there's a lot of sewing pins. I don't know why I had so many. I don't really need more than that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go pick up a couple things at the pharmacy that we need that we're out of, and I'm going to go get the mail and... I have to do laundry. Yeah, I remember to put pull out some chicken for dinner. So I think I'm gonna do an easy sort of stove top grilled chicken kind of thing for dinner. I've got some potatoes too in the fridge. So I think that's uh, what I'm gonna cook for dinner for the husband. And I think I'm, for me, I'm gonna have the chicken on in a salad. But yeah, I think that's what's happening today. Nothing super exciting. I'm not puppy sitting today. Uh, I think my daughter is home from her business trip today, so anyway, that's it for the moment. Oh, I have to get a birthday card. It's Polyus's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday. Polyus is my daughter's boyfriend, FYI, if you don't know. They haven't put anything out in a long time on their YouTube channel, Blue Glass Jar, um, but I will link their um, channel in the description below, and um, yeah, he's having a birthday, so I need to get him a card and a gift card, so I'm going to go do that too. All right, hey I'll guys, it is uh, Friday, March 30th, and it's the end of the day. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. I've spent the whole day um, 
<laughs> I've spent the whole day doing what? I don't know. No, I do know. I got on the treadmill and um, all that stuff. I didn't go get the mail today. I spent the rest of the afternoon working on another one of these um, sew together bags. This one is a really big sized one with pen loops in the front. Um, something that can be used for a sketch bag. Um, three, it has three pockets. It's going to be really big. The original one, by comparison, would fit inside. So I spent the whole day working on this. So I'm still working on it. And yeah. We're going to go out to dinner now. It's Polyus's birthday. So we're going to go out and meet his family for dinner and celebrate his birthday. And I'm going to get away from the sewing machine for a little while. And I'll finish it tomorrow. All right. That's it. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. It's Saturday morning. Technically, it's still morning. It's uh, before noon. It's 11, 13. Well, after 11. Yeah. We're headed over to Costco to go get Easter food. It hasn't been an exciting week because we haven't done much, but we're okay with that. I don't know if you guys are going to be, but we are. So we're going to go see what we can do at Costco. Maybe eat some snacks at Costco and, you know, the right. usual. We'll be usual. back. Having lunch at Costco, <laughs> trying all the snacks. Oil and garlic. Want to try this one? Shh, what one is it? Mozzarella basil. Sure, just one piece though. Why? Well, because he's over there doing something else. I can't eat two. <laughs> Well, I can. I shouldn't eat to. Oh, hot. Kind of Leave the bread booth. Holy cow. Never. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the Costco book aisle, and I am so tempted to buy this book. Do you guys see what that says on there on the title? And then if you open it up. It's a coloring book. It's a sarcastic coloring book. Sarcastic coloring book? I wish that I was full of tacos instead of emotions. Will work for cupcakes. Donut, talk to me. <laughs> that is cute. Color your own tarot. Hand lettering. Color, color agami. I don't know what that is. Interesting. When you come to Costco, you buy stuff you don't really need. What is it, $100 an hour for these current Costco? Uh, about 200 200 Everybody's buying those cookies. Oh, yeah. so we had some good snacks. Good A lot snacks. of the bread from the bread guy. He was hilarious. He was hilarious. I caught him on uh, film, but I didn't catch him on film cracking any jokes. But he was standing there just joking with everybody, which is yes. why his table was so busy and he was selling so much product. Yes, he was selling Anyway, yeah. Um, he told me an off-color co Italian joke, which was hilarious, which I probably ought not to repeat here on oh, YouTube. Oh, come on, but... that's funny. Why don't Italians like Jehovah's Witnesses? They don't like any witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, anyway, he was pretty funny. So uh, now we're going to go drop off some stuff at Goodwill and then uh, go home and have lunch, right? Because, yes. you know, we didn't eat enough snacks at Costco, so. <laughs> All right, we'll be okay, back. Okay, charity donation done. Now we can go home and have lunch, right? Yes. Cool. Hey, guys. It is still Saturday. It's 3.30-ish in the afternoon. I just picked up the mail. I got sick of my hair, so you know. <laughs> um, what does my friend Vicki Brown call it? Oh, I've got the hamsters on my head. <laughs> um, I just run over here to Staples really quick. We need a box to organize some paperwork for the household. And um, then I can go home and finish my um, jumbo size sew together bag, which I will share with you all before we close this week's vlog. 
turned out super cute. Um, again, the sew together bag is not my pattern, but I'll put the link where you can get it in the description below. The hack for the large size is also not my idea. It's part of a Facebook group, which I will give you the link to. You're going to have to request to join. And the hack is in the files over there. Um, and I will, when I share the bag, I'll go over with you the, the changes that I made. So I'm going to go get my stuff and I'll see you in a bit. like a bomb went off. I think I'm finally ready to put some of this sewing stuff away, at least temporarily. I have other things I need to do. Ugh, what a mess. I better get to it. Okay, here's the bag share I promised you. This one with the green trim is the original size of the Sew Together bag. Um, the pattern for which, which again, you have to um, download. It is um, linked in the description below. And it's a really cute bag. Let's see if I can open it one-handed. Hang on. I'm going to just get a blurry picture. Okay, so when you open the Sew Together bag, <laughs> um, it is an accordion bag with three center pockets and then two sort of landing areas. I put a longer zipper so that it actually can open. If you're using this for needlework especially, you can put your pin cushions and scissors and things right here and then have some of your notions that not only in the pockets but sticking up in between. So it's a really cute bag and I was really intrigued by it and intrigued by how it goes together. So this is the original size. There is a hack for making a larger size bag in the Sew Together Bag Facebook group which you have to request to join. It's a, cl it's a closed group and they don't do comments or anything in there. It's strictly an information only group. But they do have a hack for the bigger size. Here's the regular size in front of the bigger one. So it's quite a bit bigger, wider and taller. Now the hack is intended to have the inside instead of three pockets to have four. I didn't do that. Um, I put a, holy cow, it's all the way at the end. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is there's some great tutorials out there and I'm gonna link my favorite channel, Birdcage and Thread, for their tutorials, especially their one for the Sew Together bag. And a lot of the tutorials, including hers, tell you that you can machine stitch or hand stitch the trim. And my first tip to you all, if you're going to try to make one of these bags, hand stitch the trim. You can do it on the machine, but it's easier if you do it by hand. It's also cleaner looking. Um, on this one, I put a double zip instead of a single. See if I, you know, unzipping things one-handed is just challenging. Let's see. So this has a 30 inch zipper. Let's see if I can get the other side. I'm gonna um, show you what I did here. I have to get it unzipped all the way. So with the hack for the larger bag, this is what I did. I made my side pieces taller. I did do the adjustments they recommended, but I made them a lot taller. These are the I made the pattern piece seven inches tall. And then I took the fourth piece of the pocket. And again, some of these instructions won't make any sense if you haven't made the bag. But I took the extra fourth piece to extend the bottom of the bag here on the inside. So I added a piece here in the front and a piece also here in the back. I only put three pockets on the inside. This one is um, five inches tall, this one is five and a half inches tall, and this one is six inches tall. I also added elastic loops to the front of each pocket. And that would be so that you can use this as an art journaling case. And all your pens and markers and brushes will fit in here. You can put ephemera in the zipper pockets because these do zip zippers again with my one-handedness. is not, it's not going to work too well. So, and all of the pockets open. And then, so that I could have it be sort of a drawing case or, or 
art case, whether by the sofa or traveling, I put these elastic loops and I gra grabbed some buttons I had. This is not easy one-handed. I've said that a few times now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So my idea was that it was a portable art or writing desk. So you can put a bunch of your pens and markers in the pen loops on each pocket. You can put other tools inside the pockets or bits of ephemera and paper. Between the pockets, you can put um, some of your small sketchbooks or journals. In the back, you've got this, because I've added these buttons and the elastic loops, you have this sort of bucket space in which you could put more tools or a big journal. Um, this is big enough to hold a small watercolor palette. Plenty, plenty, plenty big enough and some brushes and you have this landing pad here also while you're working to put things on. So my idea was to take the sew together bag which was intended to be a needlework bag and a sewing bag and make it into an art journaling bag. So I love it. So if you want specific measurements or instructions I will make some notes and write some things down and have a download link to draw a Dropbox file in the description below, but I think you guys should give it a try if you know how to sew or you know somebody who does. That's it for today, um, or at least for the moment. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I did want to show you the bag after I got it all full with my daily drawing stuff. I really love my Delphonics bag, but that being said, this one is prettier. <laughs> um, and in some ways, I don't know, I think I might like it better. I'm going to try it for a while. But I put my charms that are always on my zipper pulls on the zipper pulls on the bag. If you open it up all the way, it opens up like this. I've got all the markers and uh, pens, my gel, Bible gel high gliders, and things I like to draw with in the pen loops in the bag. In this small pocket, I have a rag, my pencil sharpener, um, one of the Shannon Green mini custom keeper little notebooks, um, a sticky notepad, a mini watercolor set, that kind of thing, a, one lettering stencil. In this middle bag, I have a pouch with some glue, washi tape, and actually there's a pen in here, so let's take the pen out and put it, there's an extra pen loop back here, put it there. Okay, in this pouch, back in this zipper pocket back here, I've got some of my daily um, sketchbooks, um, the smaller ones, and in the back I have my bigger one. And when I have it open, I can have a bunch of my sketchbooks back here that I'm working on. I love it. And then when I am done, the whole thing, zips up tight, closes up nicely, and is nicely contained. A new use for the sew together bag. Really cool. I love it. That's it for today and that's it for this week. But don't forget, among other things, to go out, have an adventure, do something fun, have a happy Easter tomorrow, everyone who celebrates Easter, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>